Hi guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to build a mosquito fogger out of your lawnmower. Now mine is a wheel horse, but you can use anything. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to attach our mosquito fogger onto our muffler assembly right here. And then what's going to happen is it's going to preheat the fog juice is what I'll call it anyways. And it's going to come through here, get vaporized through this tube. It's going to be preheated, I guess I should say, by the muffler here. Comes back up, goes into this, and then circles back out, and then we're going to blow fog out of our exhaust. So, so here are some of the things that you're going to need in order to accomplish this. So, what we're going to start off with, of course, you're going to need a drill. Uh, here's a sprayer that I bought out at Lowe's for about $8. These fittings, is the ones I purchased from Lowe's, kind of get to focus in here for you. This is a quarter OD. That's a compression fitting to eighth inch male pipe. This is three-eighths compression to quarter compression. This is a 3 8 female thread. So I'm going to slide it down here a little bit to 3 8 compression. And this is a quarter quarter needle valve. I've got a set of pipe taps here that I'm going to be using. In this case, I've chosen to go with the eighth inch one, which is still, sorry, it's this one right here. So this is the fitting that I'm going to use. It's gonna go directly on top of the muffler. Got a set of pipe taps here, made by Blue Point. Of course, anything will work, this is just what I had. Um, I've got some soft copper tubing, this was $8. This was $13. And ideally, I would not have needed the 3 8 inch had I found the correct adapter to go from here, is what I was trying to go from, which is a 3 8 in this case, down to quarter. So if you could find a 3 8 um, female pipe thread to quarter inch, compression, then you wouldn't need to get the 3 8 inch and you wouldn't need a couple of extra adapters. So these are about five bucks a piece. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 28, about 40, 50. So about 50 bucks here roughly, which uh, sounds like quite a bit, you know, but when you start checking out the price of mosquito foggers, uh, the cheapest one starts at about 50 bucks and they go up from there so and really the concept is pretty simple all we're going to do is basically create a fog by vaporizing vegetable glycerin uh, mixed with water in this case and our pesticide which i'm going to be using permethrin in this case because of the cost and the flexibility of it uh, I buy it at the local feed store for around $15 a quart, roughly. Same thing that they use in a lot of the uh, animal dips. Uh, it's a pretty widely used pesticide. It works on wasps too. I've used it on that. So for the money, it's probably about the best that I've found. Uh, I've heard people using garlic oil, or there's some special garlic oil that you can buy for about $85 a gallon that is highly concentrated and will last you about a year. Uh, that's a good option as well. I just, uh, you know, we may head that route, but we're gonna try this and see how it does and uh, get started with it. So I'll see you in the next one. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. On my mower, this is basically just a piece of pipe. It's a nipple, it sits on here and then they clamp onto it. Because nipples are pretty cheap, probably about a four dollar part here. I'm going to mark this rather than drilling and tapping my muffler. So basically I'm going to take my center punch, set it up on here, mark it, and then drill it. And then tap it and put my eighth inch to three eighths, no to quarter, sorry, 
it's a quarter inch compression to eighth inch pipe and the eighth inch pipe will thread in here okay so I got the hole drilled not too bad I've got my tap set up here for my eighth inch I was going to try to use this if I can but it doesn't look like I'm gonna have the room to do so so probably grab a socket ratchet and uh, cut my threads for my eighth inch pipe fitting okay so I got it drilled tapped and I went ahead and screwed in my fitting here which is eighth inch pipe to quarter inch compression fitting this is the other side of it which the tubing will slide through and then it'll tighten down against this and we're going to take that and loop it down our muffler so we're probably going to come, I'm thinking about, I'll probably start up here on top, wrap it around, then come back up, turn it, and then turn it again. And uh, I may wind up using these tubing benders that I've got down here for that. Not sure just yet. We'll just have to take a look and see. But anyway, kind of a step-by-step. -step. There's the fitting onto the tubing. Okay guys, so I got the copper tubing wrapped around the muffler. So it's going to start back here. This spray bottle, which I've went ahead and put a couple of fittings on so far. What I did is I put my 3 8 on here. Uh, adapted it from uh, pipe, which is kind of pipe, kind of not. I think it's going to work out okay, but then I went to 3 8 tubing and then I put my reducer on here to go back down to quarter inch which is what I have here so the only other thing that we're going to be missing uh, well that I just don't have on yet is my needle valve which is going to adjust the flow rate of the fog juice as it goes into this container here well I'm sorry as it goes to the preheater which goes back up and I've been to 90 which goes into the top of the muffler so uh, I think this part of it turned out uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with it anyways. So I think that the only thing that I'm going to have to kind of figure out where I want to put it is my needle valve. And uh, I think I'll probably put it on the outside so that I can adjust it. Um, maybe that's not necessary. Once you set it, you're probably not going to move it very much. But rather than risking all the tension that's on this that I've kind of built up as I wound it. I think I'll probably put it on the outside. One quick thing I want to talk to you guys about a little bit is on your on your pipe cutters. I'm sorry, not pipe cutters. Your tubing cutters. Be sure when you're doing this, tighten it down and go really slow. Well, in other words, tighten this up just a little bit, spin it around both directions a couple times and then just barely turn it and go again, barely turn it. If you do, you will not mess up your copper. You'll wind up with an end that looks a lot like this, which works fine. It'll slide right into the compression fittings. But if you crank it down too tight too quick, it's going to bend it. And it's not going to slide into those uh, compression fittings very well. So. Anyway, just wanted to kind of let you guys know, you probably already know that, but some of you that may be watching haven't used tubing cutters very much, so anyways, I'm going to get this ready, uh, set my needle valve in here, and kind of arrange my tubing back here where I want it. The plan is to leave it somewhat um, open. I don't know, I may stick it down here on the footrest, but eh, we'll figure it out here in a minute. So anyway. That's it on this one. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I've got everything hooked up now. Just got the bottle sitting there for now, but everything's hooked in. Everything's tightened up. Got that fitting up there tightened up. Seems like it's probably going to work out okay. Probably wind up changing out this fitting. We're doing something different here. I didn't have any uh, dies in order to recut those threads to make them actually match up correctly. So. Basically, I'm going to fire it up. So here it is. I've got it set up basically on just a copper screw. The copper screw right here.
that it has so much shit in it. Dead, 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 dead,